क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई क्रीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज अ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिस्क्रिट टाइम फूर ट्रांसफॉर्म दैट इज डीटीएफटी द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज लिनेटी प्रॉपर्टी सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द स्टेटमेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लिनेटी प्रॉपर्टी इफ x1 of n dtft is x1 of omega and x2 of n dtft is x2 of omega then a1 x1 of n and a2 x2 of n dtft is a1 x1 of omega plus a2 x2 of omega where my a1 and a2 both are constants and x1 and x2 of n these two are my signals or you can say a functions now this is our statement now we are going to prove this statement so let's see how to prove it first of all we'll write the definition of dtft now this was the definition of dtft now what i'm going to do if my input is a1x1 of n plus a2x2 of n then this was my input signal or input sequence and now we are going to calculate or we are going to find out the dfty ft of this sequence so i am going to substitute this whole equation over here now i'm going to multiply this e to the power minus j omega n inside this bracket as well as here we have a plus sign which means we can split this summation or we can use this summation for these two functions separately now in both this case my a1 and a2 are constant so i'll take it outside and after that what is remaining inside this bracket or inside this summation we will only have x1 of n into e to the power minus j omega n and in second summation we will have x2 of n e to the power minus j omega n now look at it according to definition what we want we want a pure form of input sequence that is we want only x of n and here the function is available in the same value that is we have only x1 of n and here also we have only x2 of n so we can directly say that this is nothing but the definition of discrete time fourier transform but first of all we have to take a1 and a2 outside now this whole summation is in form of dtft of definition so i'm going to directly write the summation of n that value varies from minus infinity to infinity x1 of n e to the power of j omega n by x1 of omega similarly summation value n varies from minus infinity to infinity x2 of n e to the power minus j omega n can be written as by according to definition of dft and this is nothing but r x of omega and this is the proof now we will discuss a next property in next video but for that stay tuned to ikeda and subscribe to ikeda for further more videos thank you so much